All right, guys, so you were all given back this new sheet, okay? So here is your homework for um, when you guys come back on Thursday, or Wednesday. Wednesday or Thursday, depending on which class you're in, okay? So you guys are going to take and finish your parking layout for your buses, okay? And you are going to print it to an 11 by 17, right? So just so that you guys are aware, at 11 by 17, you should be able to get most of your site to fit, okay? So there and there. A little bit's going to fall off. So you're going to print your site, right, not including the parking area, just the area that's bounded by the sidewalks. You're going to print that at 1 16th of an inch to a foot. You have two prints to make. One of them is for buses entering from one side. The other one is for buses entering from the other side. It should show all of your parking places angled in the correct position with the correct distance between them. And it should show the buses all parked, and it should show the turning radiuses that I gave you. So that's one thing that you guys have to bring in for Monday, okay? Or not for Monday, for Wednesday or Thursday, depending on which bus. The second thing that you're going to do is you are going to analyze, or you already, you've already analyzed this thing, but you are going to cut out squares and rectangles, okay, squares and rectangles, okay, that are going to have the areas that correspond to these areas. So 3,000, so you're going to cut out a square that is 3,000 square feet, okay? You're going to cut out another square that is 500 square feet, and you're going to label these. So 3,000 square feet, then you're going to cut another square out. So the first one's a square, 3,000 square feet. The second one is a square, 500 square feet. The next one is a square, 1,000 square feet. And then finally, you're going to have one more square that is 1,500 square feet. Okay? After you cut those shapes out as squares, now I want you to turn them into rectangles. Okay? So keep them as close. You don't, they don't have to be exact, but you're gonna, if the same way that we converted this to this, turn it into a rectangle that has a proportion of about roughly one and a half to one. So one and a half in length to one in height. There's no mathematically pure way of doing that. There probably is, but I'm not aware of it. So you're just going to do it through a little bit of trial and error, not much. Okay? The same way that I did this one. So I went 54 and I go, uh, let's try 45. Right? And so if 45 didn't work, I might try 40. And if 40 didn't work, I might try 50. But eventually I'd get to a rectangle that's about, more or less, one and a half to one, okay? So you're gonna take all of these shapes that you've got here, right? And you are going to convert them. You're gonna have them all cut out and labeled as little squares of cardboard like this, right? And then you're also going to have the same ones done as one and a half to one rectangles. If you want to do them in AutoCAD, you're welcome to do that, I don't care. I just want you to have them to where you're, they're cut out of this cardboard. Okay? Any questions? Yes, sir. Um, that's at 116th to a scale to? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, very good question, Pat. Yes. So everything that we're working on right now is at 16. So it's going to be really small. Those, little, those pieces are going to be little tiny things like this. Okay? All right. Um, any questions about that? All right, so that's your homework for Wednesday. Um, I, there was homework that was due for today, but Natalie's not here. She's not feeling well. So please bring the homework that was due for today back on Wednesday so she can check it in for you. Okay? Any, other, any questions? I'm sorry, the parking layout what? Uh, when, when, for when we uh, print the parking layout, we just 
So I'm going to hold this up so you guys can all see it. So um, is there an 11 by 17 waiting around here? Here's one. Look, just what luck, right? Okay, Ryan. So you'll notice that an 11 by 17 is going to fit most of this site, right? It doesn't go, it doesn't fit anything from this parking edge this way. But pretty much the area where the terminal building is and stuff is pretty close going to fit. Okay? So you need to print that so that we have it. You're going to have two printouts that are due at the beginning of class. Please do not try to print during class. I won't accept them if you're printing during class. Okay? Did that, did that make sense, Ryan? It did? Okay. All right. Anything else? Any other questions? Okay, that's it.